So today I'm going to show you a very simple example, but it's something that comes up quite a bit. Uh, quite often we're asked to create a table where people can view, you know, a list of, of objects of some type. And within those objects, uh, there are fields that are themselves lists. So in this example, you know, what you're seeing on the screen here, uh, I've got three top level objects and in each of those objects there is an embedded list that happens to be of the type string. So that's what you're seeing on the screen. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to build a display that looks like this using the uh, Brazos UI toolkit. So if I go over to the process designer, I've created a, a simple human service where I can demonstrate this. But at the heart of this, uh, first let's look at my data structure. So I created a data structure that's very, very simple. I have within this object a top level string, and then I have a list of strings uh, within that. So that's our very simple data structure. And of course you can have data structures of any level of complexity, but I think this is sufficient to get across what it is that, uh, that we want to do. So as I said, I created a human service and within this human service, I simply, you know, initialize some data and then I want to take, take you through the different steps uh, that you might normally do in order to create this table. So the first thing that I would do is when I create my coach and since I'm using the Brazos toolkit, of course, the first thing I've done is I've added the uh, Brazos template. Uh, the responsive nature of our controls depends on having the Brazos template at the top level. And then what I did was I dragged over a table control and dragged it and dropped it into the content area of my top level frame. And what I did was I bound this uh, table to this object with embedded list variable that I have in my human service, because that's the content that I want to show up in this uh, particular coach. So I'm going to go ahead and run this so that you can see where I am at this point. Go ahead and run it. And you can, you can see what I have is I have that table control, but there's absolutely nothing in it. So this is obviously not what I want. So if I go back to the process designer, uh, the next thing that I do is I come over here to the variable and I take the current item because that's every row of the table displays the current item. It's going to iterate through those. And what I did was I took the top string variable and I dragged it over to this field within the table. And then I changed it to be an output text because right now I just simply need an output text. So, and what that looks like, if I go back over to my browser and hit my next button, now you can see I have partially what I want. I, I've got the top string at three records, so I have three rows. So far so good, but, but what about those, that embedded string list? Okay, to get that, what I do, if I go over to my next version here, what I did was I took, in the views, I took another table control and I dragged it over and I plopped it down inside that top level table. So I have a table within a table. And once again, to bind that, I went to the variable of the current, but in this case, it was the string list current item because I'm one level down, okay? And then I dragged that over into this table. I also made it an output text. So here we go, let's see what that looks like. All right, so I have the data that I need. If you can see, I've got my three records and within my three records, I have all of their embedded information from the string. And this is my recommendation, get the data that you need displayed on the screen displayed first. Now at this point, I'm almost done. I just need to do a little bit of cleanup. I need to, I can go into the individual controls. That's what I've done in this one. These individual controls, you know, each one of these, you can, you can click on it, you can go to the configuration, 
You can set whether you want uh, the row addition buttons or the paging, and it's the same all the way down. This is just uh, another embedded table. It has its own configuration. I can set it to be what I want. Any of the fields that I am displaying, I can, of course, go there and I could pick a different type of, uh, of uh, display rather than output text. I could do anything else. And what that looks like is this final view here, which is pretty much what I want. And of course, you can, you can play with this as much as you want to. But the key thing to remember is that in a table, every column can be a different type of coach view. So, so set the column to be the type of coach view that you want. In this particular case, where I've got this embedded list, well, that column needs to contain a coach view that can display a list. And in this case, table worked just fine for me. So I have a table within a table. And basically, it could have been any type of coach view that can display a list. So I hope that helps you be able to uh, get tables to look the way that you want them to look. Please, uh, as, as always, send any feedback, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.